okay so uh, in this video we are going to uh, reconstruct uh, uh, you know a bootstrap 5 website uh, which is also uh, responsive uh, to the mobile devices and to the big screens okay before uh, we go into the uh, you know tutorial or information exchange uh, vlog whatever it may be uh, my uh, sincere uh, thanks to uh, bhagavat <coughs> pada shri shankara adi shankara acharya uh, ramanuja and madhvacharya so uh, i have uh, made sure that every video i will begin uh, by paying my respects sincere respects to the holy trinity uh, of india okay so <clears throat> we shall begin uh, this video straight away uh, i have already constructed so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, construct something very similar to this okay in a rapid phase uh, these are nothing but the parts which we have already seen uh, in previous videos uh, in the coming uh, that is in this video we will be uh, seeing a full page uh, tutorial uh, or uh, information how to construct a uh, web page okay the following tutorial i will also host this web page uh, like tomorrow or sometime later whenever i get time uh, i will also host this website uh, and show uh, how it goes live okay so we will we shall start straight away with the tutorial uh, <coughs> so we shall begin so the images uh, folder already uh, images folder is already included uh, all the assets which we need for uh, constructing this page so this is just a example of that folder which we will also be using in this uh, uh, video log okay so we will straight away uh, start start uh, by okay so we will straight away create a file we'll create a file called bootstrap underscore complete dot html okay so boilerplate code emmet which gives the boilerplate code So uh, now and then I'll be referring this uh, because I have already created. Uh, we, we shall copy paste the code uh, instead of wasting time in me uh, typing and showing you that uh, I am proficient in HTML or Bootstrap. That is not the uh, idea of the video. The idea of the video is uh, how to uh, uh, you know uh, bring in small parts and put it together and bring a full page. Uh, the web full page web app okay for you <coughs> we, we can call it web app also because we are going to use json api uh, example json api is for uh, populating the tables so straight away i'll start i'll uh, copy paste all the assets which are needed and uh, explain these are self explanatory so i am going to copy the bootstrap css asset font awesome jquery plugin because we use fancy uh, table js uh, for searching table search for enabling the table search okay so all these things i'll copy okay control c and i'll copy and paste it in the title okay i'll explain what does fancy table js okay okay so we can straight away start so step by step i'll also uh, take you through so as usual we will start with our header header put 
to the okay so header and footer we have done so what we'll do is we'll just copy paste this nav bar which is already there okay so uh, <clears throat> as of now we have included fancy table jquery plugin font awesome uh, and bootstrap but we have uh, for, we forgot to include okay uh, the js file which is needed uh, which we usually paste for bootstrap at the end of the file and i am also going to include this script bootstrap bootstrapy.js uh, i'll explain what it is okay so at the bottom of the body of our bootstrap complete html we will include just after the footer we will include this okay we will include this and then we will straight away jump into our construction okay so we have done this we will also put the icon which we have uh, done from the suit as we have already seen this text simba icon dot turquoise or some other color we will give this time okay so complete you will run once and check how it looks as and when we need we can okay this looks good and cool okay we'll straight away jump into next section okay header we have created footer we have created footer we will fill it with uh, footer data afterwards static data okay so in the bootstrapy what i have done is which i have already tried so that i don't waste time in you know um kind of typing and wasting so we are going to copy this section i am putting inside the section a container with a banner image two banner images uh, i will also explain what it is okay after header we are having a section which has a which is the rest this div section is enclosed inside the container okay uh, this uh, row and column this row and column is in, in, is enclosed inside the container which is inside the section i will explain why we are putting everything inside the section okay afterwards uh, <coughs> as the video proceeds i will explain why section is used okay we will refer md and docs for that Uh, which has a very good explanation of why we have to put everything inside a section sometimes you can put sometimes you can just uh, paste the uh, div from bootstrap pi and then go ahead now we will again go and see how it looks super so this uh, banner images this whole after header section is over there is a section uh, section uh, sec section which has a div uh, which is called a container okay now what i am going to do is i am going to go to head section there there is a difference between head and header you should not get confused between header and head section head is like your head of the body header is uh, which is inside the body okay so section we will say header or i will go inside bootstrapy.html which i have already styled okay body background i have given tomato so we will copy this and paste and see how this looks if you want this background you can have this background otherwise see as soon as you paste uh, the background color 
you change the background color it changes the whole so whole web page single page landing page or something whatever you call is going to be full background with tomato red color okay not tomato red it's somewhat uh, creamy you can say tomato uh, soup cream of tomato red okay and then what i am going to do is i am just going to blindly copy paste this without uh, the table thing because we have not come to the table so header and footer i'll paste inside our bootstrap complete now what i am pasting is what i am pasting is header and footer i am giving margin top and margin bottom as 15 p uh, 15 pixel section alone uh, for water because we are going to use lot of sections and we are going to have uh, margin top margin bottom margin left and margin right with different pixel uh, dimensions okay so once i refresh this i haven't saved this so i save and then refresh you will see there is a top margin for header margin for section margin left and right is also coming for the section part now we'll go ahead we'll not waste time in styling because we have already seen styling uh, quite a bit okay again i'll go to the bootstrap html and then yes again i am going to copy paste this section we are going to enclose every bootstrap functionality inside a section because because of because so i'll explain why we are enclosing within the section i'll do a quick search of okay so this is the explanation the mdn uh, web docs gives uh, html uh, element section represents a generic stand alone section of a document which doesn't have a more specific semantic element to represent it section should always have a heading with very few exceptions okay since we are using lot of bootstrap element inside our section we need not give uh, differentiate between this section and that section if needed we can also enclose it within a class or we can give it a id saying section 1 section 2 section 3 section 4 so now we have copy pasted the jumbotron so jumbotron is nothing but uh, a section where okay so this is the jumbotron section default jumbotron section with uh, colors i have mentioned it uh, bg warning i have given the whole division of the jumbotron will have this color and then button section i have given danger if i change it to success it will go to success success is nothing but green color in bootstrap so example button color change from red to danger to success okay let's not waste time again we'll go back we'll create another section we'll create another section and from bootstrap html we will paste this okay i'll explain what it is why we are doing copy paste this this took me 45 minutes to develop so i am trying to wind it up within 20 minutes or 25 minutes so that's why we are doing copy paste otherwise uh, the video length will become copy paste that's the thing so this is nothing but a div row example okay division and row ex row column example where we have three columns and one row okay so from where did i get this i got it from bootstrap 5 
so in bootstrap 5 website if you go and say in docs if you search grid system you will get how to enclose this is three column simple three column and one row okay simple three column one row so they have given explanation of different varieties this is two columns and one uh, two columns and one row or two rows so these are uh, examples which we have uh, from our uh, uh, bootstrap site and i have taken an example out of this and pasted it okay so there are different varieties through which uh, you can enclose columns and uh, thing and then i will explain what we have done cards okay so we have enclosed we have used this probably this or yeah we have exactly used this card so while referring the code you will know so in this code what we have done is we have inside the section we have enclosed we have created sorry inside this section we have created a class with rows and columns so this is the div which is for row and this is the div which is for first column so inside this div we have given a card okay the card has a image and then card bo card body okay so this is the image which is coming from images which i have included so images web designing web designing dot png okay this image comes and then card uh, type card body comes okay so like this i have three columns and one row okay one row which is enclosing three columns we can have n number of uh, columns that is one one row to second row third row like this we can go on on and on so let's not waste time again we'll move okay because we have uh, quite a distance to cover so after this section i have included an accordion accordion which we have seen the ln uh, like we created this my cv right from there i have uh, copy pasted the whole of accordion which also has font awesome stuff okay so what i am going to do is i am going to copy all of accordion accordion i am not going to cover what this accordion how it is going to uh, how you are going to construct because you already constructed in a previous uh, video log how this is done this is nothing but my sample resume so for this i need to include it inside a section so again i'll include it inside a section and copy paste this whole thing okay so this has an accordion with a title which goes with it okay so accordion also has come with all the fonts because these fonts are included from the font awesome which we have included this is the cdn font awesome cdn link uh, cdn link which i have given which uh, renders you different icons uh, which we have already covered in length so these are the calendar uh, you know father name load envelope mobile something like this okay as you see all these icons which we are given have come okay accordion is also done then what we are going to do is again we will put a section again we'll go inside bootstrapy.html and then see 
so after carousel after uh, accordion we have carousel now what we'll do is we'll not go inside carousel carousel will do it at the last okay now i'm going to copy paste this json json api uh, or we'll start with this table okay this table section copy paste it in our so this is a table with a heading and then body body is empty body we are going to fill it using our script which we have included from uh, bootstrapy.js is the script we will shortly see what we are going to do in that okay this is my table and then uh, head is background info background info is nothing but blue color of the head and then we have headings name age birthday okay now we'll go inside bootstrapy and see how it is going to get filled okay bootstrapy we have json array and then this is this i'll come shortly okay so this is the array which is going to get populated inside the table inside that table which we have created so this array has a lot of uh, dictionaries which we call it in python i don't know what you call it in javascript so dictionaries are nothing but key value pairs uh, and then this is a static array okay so static array what i am going to do is i am going to build my array so as soon as this data is passed to this function i am calling this function and then this function is built so this function takes the element by id my table which is there in our bootstrap complete my table get element get element by id my table it takes that element and then uh, table data that uh, table variable is populated which is nothing but the html element which is populated and then i am getting the data okay data is nothing but my array data dot length so it will take whole length and then parse it and then uh, that is iterate it and then we construct the rows of the table okay so pr is for the row first row and then inside the first row data t data okay details or t data or details whatever it is name age so name data dot i so first uh, index it will go name and populate it now if we go here and then refresh this page it will automatically populate okay automatically populate the table table population from array automatically it populates from the table and then we also have a very fancy uh, table uh, search okay if you go here it's giving two paginations paginations are there so if you want to search second page frame is there we will search from here frame 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 comes okay frames age and birthday is coming so uh, this is for the fancy uh, table population from because this works because okay we have included this plugin fancy table which has the dependency of jquery okay so we have included both these things and our working table population data is coming from bootstrap.js okay so let's not waste time again we'll go to the section and then we will what we will do is we will go to bootstrapy okay and then we will populate this table that is populating it with a api com we are going to construct a table with a api com okay so in this section i am going to paste this this is nothing but table populated json api goes here with pagination and search we are going to implement pagination and search pagination and search also same thing first uh, head table uh, head 
and body. Body here we have given ID as JSON table like my table. Uh, it's going to get populated now shortly. So I will explain what is happening in Bootstrap Okay. So what is happening here is we are using Ajax request. So we have an empty JSON array. Then we are calling get request from this user's uh, request uh, response dot in is nothing but a API uh, call which are, which we are making using Ajax uh, get and then uh, this data which is coming from uh, request response is then populated in JSON array and then we are building a table again similar to table what we did it did for uh, you know what we did for uh, um, what we did for uh, array we are doing the same thing for uh, JSON okay so that's one thing which we are trying to do uh, build table function is called from here uh, within uh, Ajax request and then table is constructed same JSON element element by ID get element by ID is done then we parse the length of the API request uh, data uh, which is there in JSON array which is passed to data and then this day we are iterating uh, data dot uh, data dot one is nothing but uh, data array of index one uh, dot first name that's what it means okay so we are constructing here and then we are populating we are also we have also implemented the, this is the fancy table uh, jQuery thing which works for both uh, array and uh, json api table okay now we'll go inside here uh, i'll explain that okay so we refresh the page okay we have this request response which is coming so we search charles okay so now we have this uh, and this is quite uh, annoying, these things are quite annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to style it in such a way. Uh, okay. What I'm going to do, we have not included this style which is there for the table. Okay. Nth child, even, even numbers, uh, row, nth child, uh, even I want light green. Okay. So I, I copy the style and paste it here in our CSS. And then I refresh this. Now you see the one, two, even numbers are all uh, colored in green. That's what exactly this call does. This exactly does that for us from the okay. so first page, second page, same thing happens here also. Okay. Okay, same thing happens for this. Okay, this table I have colored it as white and this table I haven't colored it because background I haven't changed somewhere. Okay, that will take care afterwards. So finally, we will come to the carousel section and the footer one, which we will finish first. Okay, already, what is the time? Already 28 minutes done. Okay, so we'll wrap it up first section. Finally, going to the bootstrapy.html, then copy pasting the carousel. Okay. Only problem with carousel is carousel is not made into responsive, so it might have some touch, touchy issues uh, in terms of uh, 
rendering in mobile devices which will uh, sort it out later in some other carousel this is the carousel third label second label something like this all these things are pulled from bootstrap by uh, the page uh, i haven't done any sort of uh, html or uh, anything uh, fancy here okay so bootstrap dot html we are going we have done table we have done footer we will just paste something or we paste it somewhere from here Footer is also done. Okay, so we have footer. We can have uh, anything inside footer, and then finally we will go and see whether it is responsive. Little bit of responsiveness is okay for us. Okay. This is cool. Even tables are uh, responsive in nature. So I try to pull my mobile, uh, which I have, which I have, and paste it on the screen and see. Okay, exactly the same with for the mobile. As I said, carousel uh, images to make it responsive, it is a little tough. We, which we'll do, which we'll also cover uh, in one of the classes or tutorial the real of what are we got. Okay, let's see. Okay, even this is working. Okay. Okay, in this uh, with this I'll wind it up and then in uh, next video I'll uh, show you how to host it uh, for free. Uh, which you can also uh, share it in your uh, LinkedIn or uh, other social media websites. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, Om Namo Narayanaya Namaha. Okay, see you.